Well, hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your major quickie bonus reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are turning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder to say that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Just to let you know, I will be doing my usual longer messages, uh, but this is a major quickie for those of you who are on the go. Um, so let's get straight to your reading, my beautiful Aries. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my gorgeous Aries? What do they need to know? The sun, wow, that is a strong opening. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I take jumpers from the pack. I do not choose the cards, as I believe that is my energy and not the message you're meant to receive. Um, everyone is different, there is no right or wrong way, so please fast forward during these moments, I don't like to waste anybody's time. Um, wow, we have quite a spread here, Aries, this is a power read. We have the sun to open, uh, just to let you know I'm using the White Witch Tarot, a series of major arcana cards to gauge the overall energy of the read. And the sun card is a Leo energy, and this is about um, absolute success, a joyous outcome, whatever it is um, that you're trying to action here, you're doing it to gauge um, your ultimate happiness. It's almost like you're, you're, it's the protagonist energy moving you forward towards a dream, okay? So whatever you've been trying to action, um, you, you recognize that it's the outcome. You, you've got some, some sort of goal in mind that you want to get to, okay? And it is for future happiness. Um, you, you've planted the seeds already for this, they're giving me, um, and it's something that you're it's almost like galloping towards because you recognize that this is going to be very successful. It's something that you, you've been thinking about for quite some time and you, it's almost like you're going after, and I know this is an obvious thing to say, I really do hate stating the obvious, but this is what they're giving me. It, it's, you know, it, it's like you're not chasing. Uh, this is the energy I'm getting. It's not chasing. You know the direction you're going in. You know where you need to get to for your ultimate uh, happiness in terms of material happiness, emotional contentment, um, like a joyous, successful outcome all around. You're reaching up for this. You want to be happy. And I mean, as I said, this is an obvious thing to say, but who doesn't want to be happy? But you're finally seeing where that happiness lies. Okay, so you may have chased a few... Oh, this is an interesting way uh, that they're putting it. You may have chased a few false rainbows interesting uh, maybe that means something to somebody out there maybe that's a sentence that they say if that is you then there is something in this message for you um but there there it's like you're you're finally waking up and seeing what did not make you happy before and you're just letting go of all that and now it's the search for happiness okay um now this is also a spiritual search as much as it is um in terms of love and finance um it's like you want it all and now you finally believe and recognize that you can have it all and the only um the only uh, person who may have been getting in your way uh is uh your own energy here and you're getting a new perspective um, and by that they mean you may have felt that you were not deserving before, that you, you, you wanted uh, to, to run after your happiness and get things um, to create this beautiful, successful lifestyle, but you may have uh, lacked some sort of confidence here um, and felt that you, you, you didn't have the resources to move forward or sometimes maybe you told yourself that um, you weren't good enough to receive, but actually you're changing your mindset completely. Um, so it's almost like a big U-turn. You finally realized how incredible you are and that you have everything you need within you to create your destiny. And that's a very strong opening they're giving me, which is incredible. So this is the energy that's propelling you forward, knowing your worth, knowing that you have it all within you to have the desired outcome. Um, and they're Okay, they're not finished with this card. They want to indicate that there may have been some sort of disappointment um, and you're rising above it in order to go after your, your destiny. Okay, so um, they're also giving me any rejection was a protection. So in this disappointment, um, they haven't given me whether it's to do with love or finances. Um, we're going to go deeper and find out. But whatever this disappointment was, um, they're showing uh, you rising like a phoenix from the ashes sort of energy here. Um, you're moving on up. Um, you're, it's almost like you're ascending um, 
in success and that will override any disappointment that you had and um, it's almost like your success also teaches somebody else who, who did you wrong uh, a big lesson in karma okay um, they're just gonna stand there watching you rise and be like damn I missed out there or I effed up in some way is what it's like um, the best revenge is success is the energy I'm getting here now we have the hangman energy this is Pisces energy, and this is about um, getting a new perspective. Some sort of wisdom has helped you. Um, so, as you can see, they, they keep wanting these two cards to be presented together, okay? As you can see, some sort of wisdom had to be gained here to push through all the mud, all the BS, in order to raise that hand up from feeling stuck, in order to re reach out for that sun, Okay, so there's been a lot of soul work going on here. Now, this is the antagonist position with this uh, hangman. So there may have been some sort of resistance to change uh, before you come full circle and have a new perspective to rush towards your, your happy destiny, your successful destiny. Also, uh, a lot of pain. Okay, um, you may have been... They're not giving me the word wallow. It's almost like you may have felt stuck in some sort of uh, feeling of loss or grief uh, or feeling stuck in one place before it got too uncomfortable. Okay, they're really highlighting this big foot here, this big head here that also has a crow, you know, and there's a skull there. Uh, it became very uncomfortable where you were. So, or it's feeling uncomfortable where you are right now. And the only thing that is stopping you from preventing um, you moving forward uh, is this confidence. It's almost like it's uncomfortable now because they want you to push forward because this is the energy to overcome, okay? They want to push you to push forward for that happiness, knowing your worth, knowing that you are going to be successful is what they're, they're giving me here. So there's some sort of growing pains um, that you have to overcome. It's almost like if you were a seed, and you're underneath the soil and it's that sort of you know moving about in the soil and all of a sudden this shoot happens and the shoot is coming up it's not quite clear of the soil yet it's that moment just before that breakthrough of success and you're at that plateau it's almost like you're on the edge you're on the precipice of that success now the unifying energy very very exciting okay we have the justice which is about karma Okay, what is right for you will never pass you by. So all the good that you've done, Aries, about to come right back at you. So equally, whoever has done you wrong, or whatever um, you felt you lost out on, um, this disappointment uh, before this moment, um, it will be rectified, balanced out, and um, the law of karma will deal with it. We also have um, the strength card, believing in yourself, knowing your worth, knowing that you're deserving, and your, your life purpose, the judgment card here with this, um, you know, knowing where you want to go, taking charge. Um, it's almost like this wake up call where you're, you're illuminated. You know where you need to go. You know where your happiness lies and it's your soul path. Okay. You're making a final decision. Where am I happy? What is the best route for my happiness? And you're finalizing it. You're, you're, you're knowing and taking charge of that direction. Now they really want me to discuss the cards individually. Um, so they're showing here a, a lot of tears, okay, that got you to this point, Aries. It must uh, feel very frustrating, but this is the unifying energy, which is okay. Th they're really indicating something about revenge here, um, which is um, you, Aries, and I don't believe for a second that you would ever do this, um, but. Um, it's almost like um, an advice, you know, you don't have to exact any revenge regarding the situation because karma is going to do an even bigger job for you and it's going to be very painful. Whoever hurts you, they will receive their just desserts in divine timing and in the law of karma um, because there's very many different laws of the universe there. Um, and they're suggesting, you know, your success is the revenge it is that is enough here okay because anything that um isn't it oh gosh okay they're giving me this sentence which uh i, I mean i'll tell you what, what they're giving me which is isn't it a shitter i hate that word but anyway, isn't it a shitter um that um 
you're ascending and leaving the person behind and they watch from the sidelines this person feels like it's a real shitter that somehow they they tried to keep you down um but actually no matter what you rose and you're more successful than they ever will be and um that is something to do with their ego they'd like to be the best at something and uh, so this could be work related it could be heart, uh, love related as well uh, we will we'll go deeper but it's about some sort of ego here and um, you're coming out on top and succeeding now justice is a libra energy and it's about balance and harmony they don't want me to go on just yet um it's a win-win situation for you some sort of truth will come out here um that will reveal a wrongdoing but it's to balance the scales out, okay? It actually levels things out for you, and you win in this situation is what I'm getting here. But they want you to be mindful as well about ego, and again, I don't believe that you would lead with ego, um, but they want you to be mindful. It's almost like let live and let go, you know? Let, no, they just created, let live and let love. They That came up in a, another reading yesterday. I think it was Pisces reading, let live so you may have some sort of Pisces placement there um, what they're indicating is um, there's no need to gloat they just said there's no need to gloat when this happens because the torment that this person or whatever situation um, will be enough okay um, there's no need to gloat so they're highlighting that um, but the unifying energy with the strength card Leo energy is about you know your self-worth you have the courage to lead forward and go after your destiny and, and rise up and have that success, okay? This is also coming from a place of self-love. You know your boundaries, you respect those boundaries, and in turn, other people start respecting your boundaries because you're teaching them about how you like to be treated. And also, you're, treat, you're teaching them that you know your worth and therefore they watch you rise and they can see your worth and then they feel like they missed out in some way. So this could be to do with love because that's what they're indicating here. But we're going to go, as I said, we're going to go deeper with the good tarot. You're very energized, okay? Um, there's a lot of magnetic energy about you. Anything you want to do, you, you start to believe that you can do it and you can, okay? There's also um, some sort of, um, there is an energy here of um, attracting, like attracts like is what they're giving me. So whatever you're thinking about, you're bringing about. Now, I know that's normally magician energy, but um, they're really highlighting um, like attracts like. So if you believe that you can do it and you have the courage to do it, then you can do it and you will be successful is what they're giving me here. But they, you, it, what you think about, you bring about. That's the energy they're giving me. Now, the judgment card, as I said, is your life purpose. So you're releasing anything that did not work before candle just flickered um, as a, an indication uh, I hope you can see it over this stone <laughs> uh, it's an indication um, that this is like an aha moment it's like the golden hour moment here where you realize you're you why you're here okay and what it is that you want to do that you can finally action and have that courage to go and do it is what they're giving me here you may have had a couple of avenues that you were uh, trying to decide on, but one really sticks out and um, you're finally reaching out for it. Um, but it, there is some sort of wisdom that needs to be gained from the situation before you actually follow this path. Now, this could be spiritual illumination. There seems to be a time limit on it also. So perhaps there is... Um, they're actually showing me... Um, someone has downloaded some sort of uh, video or course or something and it's got a time limit. I don't know what that is. That's not a, I mean, what kind of course has a time limit? Um, maybe uh, there is a time span, a time limit. Maybe it's six weeks, six months, and there is some sort of exam after it. Um, this may be the wisdom that is um, needed for this ascension in whatever it is that you're doing, this life purpose. Maybe you're, you're changing jobs and uh, taking another path um, in order to follow your true heart's desires, whatever sets your soul on fire here. Um, but there is a resistance here. So you may be putting it off in, in some way. Oh, you know, I'll do it tomorrow. Or, you know, I, I haven't got time this week. I'll really focus on it this weekend. Something always gets in the way um, is what they're giving me here. And you need to make room for it. 
they're, they're indicating there needs to be room for this ascension. There needs to be room for this knowledge. Okay. Now it could be spiritual knowledge. It could be about practice, spiritual practice. Um, but you need to make room for something uh, that you're not currently making room for. You, you've got it on the to-do list. <laughs> That's what they've got. That you've got it on the to-do list. Um, but there's no tick next to it just yet. There's other things ticked off on this list, but this thing is still underlined as pending. Wow, pending, what a word. Okay, pending. So maybe that's how you talk, or maybe that's your list. If you're, if you're a list doer, then if that's you, then there's something in this message for you. Now we're gonna go deeper and find out what they wanna talk about for you. Thank you so much, for guys. Ooh. Page of Earth, yeah. Wonderful energy, Page of Earth. This is this new job opportunity or whatever, trying to uh, trying to navigate a new path, okay? Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. What do my beautiful Aries need to know regarding this situation? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Ooh, there's a complete flip. I don't know if you caught that on the camera. This card, it literally did a flip in the air, okay? So uh, you may be flipping things up, you know, flipping the switch here and doing a U-turn um, in terms of going back to the drawing board and learning something new um, in terms of career. Um, but there's some sort of, I mean, the energy flip is uh, something important to your situation. Thank you so much, I'm truly grateful. Okay, so we have the three of water. Okay, so page of earth, very powerful energy when we get this page of earth. Um, this is a commitment to your prosperity path. As uh, It's just clarifying the sun card, everything I said about that particular card, but this is about rising up for your success. You're starting to see the first tangible um, shoots, as I was saying, of success with this card. Even if you look up this particular card in this deck, um, it is about seeing physical evidence on the, 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 the material plane um, that your dreams are grounded in some sort of reality. It's the start of a new project that will pay off and will work um, with your, um, your input, your, your, your endurance with this. Okay, So whatever it is you're trying to manifest, it's starting to show budding. You, you know, you're budding. That's the energy they're giving me here. Um, it's very successful energy when you, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, <coughs> something caught in my throat there. <coughs> um, normally they'd give me an indication if there was some sort of throat chakra, but no, this was just my coughing. So I do apologize for those listening up close um, to your uh, sound there. Um, with this card, um, it's like everything starts with a plan here and um, You've, you've generated some sort of plan for your future happiness and it's starting to come to fruition. You're starting to see movement on it, that you have the ability to attract what you need, okay? So again, it's an indication. What you think about, you bring about. Um, just to let you know as well, this is the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed and uh, you only read the cards in the upright in this deck unless, um, well, that's a stipulation of the deck. Um, Sometimes I get called to read a reversal um, from Spirit, but actually um, not on this occasion, just so you're aware. But this is you being a doer. You're going after what you desire and you're making your own decisions, okay? You're at the start. It feels very much at the start, the precipice of something very new and exciting that will bring a lot of um, financial uh, contentment here, okay? This is Capricorn energy. Um, so it's grounded in a dependability, but also there is a magic to it, okay? Um, it's almost like there is a co-creating with spirit. You've decided on something. We've got two very strong decision cards um, to propel you forward for success in your reading. So um, it, it's about you're on the right path, basically, is what they're indicating for your ultimate happiness because it's over the sun card. Now, the two of fire... Um, Interesting that it's in this particular position. Uh, two of Fire is a, a creative planning for your future, okay? It's about mapping your progress and um, gaining some sort of wisdom in this situation. So again, they're highlighting that um, some sort of planning or, um, you know, it's like wisdom or education or something here that needs to be learnt 
is uh, there is a little bit of resistance to it. Now, nobody likes to go back to the drawing board to start anywhere. So if you feel like you're um, going back to start again, they're asking you to look at your mindset. It's not about starting again. It's about taking an excited new adventure. Okay, the, the two are exactly the same things, but it's all about your intention and your desire behind it. Okay, because if we if we sit there and think, oh, I'm starting again, you know, you got that energy that brings you down. But if you go, I'm going on a wonderful new adventure with my career or whatever it is that you're trying to action here, the energy vibes are are just, you know, magnified and it becomes um, well, they're giving me the energy of it leads you out of procrastination. Okay, so uh, they're, they're giving me an indication that someone feels um, a little bit, they know what they need to do, but they're just putting it off a little bit, okay? You know when you need to do something and uh, uh, it's weighing on your mind and then you go and do the dishes and you're like, I would never do the dishes uh, over something really exciting. But uh, it's kind of that energy of, oh, I, I, I just don't want to face it yet. It's too big. They're giving me, this thing is really big. So we often shy away from it when it's really big because... Okay, they're giving me an indication that the first step, no matter how small, is the start. Okay, and it's not as big as you think. You can do it. This is a mountain that you can climb. Now, we, this two of fire, it's about spirit-inspired ambition. So you need to know um, that you're not alone here when you're creating this. It's not as big as you imagine because spirit has your back here. Trust in the unknown. Trust in the process when you get this. Because as you can see, this figure on this giraffe... Uh, see how uh, the body language is, it's like, oh, it's going to be a big slog. That's the energy that this figure on this giraffe has. But actually, this giraffe is very poised and ready to move. Also, the long neck can see way into the future and above all obstacles in the way. They know the destination. Spirit knows where you're going. And it's leading you. It's bringing that wonderful light of passion, okay, of enthusiasm, that achiever is bringing you, it's almost shining the light in that darkness, in that procrastination to help you break through something. There's a major breakthrough that it, all that needs to happen here is you need to take the first step. They're indicating the foot for me just right now. They're like, take the first step. You can do it. Okay. Um, also, um, when you get this card in this particular deck, it's about um, how your dreams will come into form. You can trust in the process because spirit's got your back. You can engage more deeply in the process. If you're putting it off, then now's the time to take the first step to leap in, you know, delve into that um, stuff to be learning. I mean, it's exciting to learn. It's exciting to do new things. It may seem daunting, but spirit actually will help you see your way in the darkness. The universe is actually aligning everything up to give you what you need, okay, to move forward. Um, you may be f uh, waiting also for some sort of results before you can make this choice um, because this c the card connects to the two of wands, okay? So that is about waiting for uh, uh, a moment um, f for some sort of results or uh, it could even be travel plans because the two of wands is about move waiting for the right moment to move, okay? Um, but it re really feels like... Um, it's waiting for the right moment to take the first step is what they're giving me, okay? Um, now, we also have three of water. Three of water, wonderful energy. It's a celebration. When you get the three of water, it's about people coming together to embrace themselves uh, in this team spirit. So you may be partnering up with somebody for um, uh, this. They're giving me an indication that it's about a career path, okay? Um, so um, friends may be coming together to sort of cheer you on. There is some sort of common goal here, but ultimately when you get this card, it's about the pearls of wisdom leads to success. It leads to a celebration. There's a lot of joy around this, an exciting flow. You're letting things come and go into your mind, but you're embracing um this understanding that there's something larger than yourself here at work. You're starting to see that miracles or some things are just slotting into place. Once you take this first step, it just starts to happen. Um, they're giving me, sorry, they're giving me an, uh, an image here. Uh, so this is obviously for someone who is a big fan of this film <laughs> because it's a very precise film, but it's telling me it's, it's giving me the symbolic energy of what needs to happen here. And it's Indiana Jones. And um, it's like being on the precipice. And it looks like 
they're on the edge of this it looks like it's yeah on the edge of this kind of real rocky dark drop and there is I'm thinking this is they're showing me Indiana Jones so I hope this is from this film I mean I could be wrong but this is a scene that they're giving me and if you look at the the pathway there is no pathway it's a, a sheer solid drop down to an abyss but they're showing me uh, Indiana Jones this is so bizarre but anyway uh, uh, throwing something I don't know if it's rice or sand or something onto a path well uh, into the abyss and actually a pathway becomes revealed okay so it's about taking a leap of faith knowing that the path is there even though you feel like you cannot see it it's there so that's the indication they're giving me um, with this now this uh, that image could be you could have just watched Indiana Jones or um, you, you know uh, or seen a, an advert for it or something like that um, or that it's your favorite film but I'm getting an overall energy it's the symbolic meaning that the path is there even though you feel like you cannot see it but you got to have faith and take the first step also um, this could be that you may be going into partnership with friends um, or someone in your soul tribe here um, but it feels more like you know um, people coming together to co-create um, some sort of it's like maybe you you've made a pact with somebody to come together it could even be that you know it's like a study buddy <laughs> yeah study buddy that's what they give me study buddy or someone who kind of like goads you on to do the work checks in with you and is like hey did you write those 10 pages of that film script hey did you um send off all those um ideas to some business i don't know um someone who checks in on you to make sure that you've done the stuff and you're you you're equally doing that for your friend okay that's quite a precise thing to say so that's obviously something for somebody but ultimately when you get this card it's about celebration okay so this is success um, perhaps uh, you're finally believing in yourself knowing the path that you're about to take and choosing your final first step and your friends are celebrating the fact that you found something to do that you love and they can see that it's going to be very successful uh, you can see right now because uh, on the physical plane there are some shoots happening that shows you this is going to be very successful I I wish I'd done this earlier okay so uh, remember this resistance don't don't hold okay they're giving me this sentence don't hold off today don't okay uh, sorry I, I want to get it precise don't hold off tomorrow what you can do today don't hold off tomorrow what you can do today so basically the energy is the time is now okay now we're gonna go um, and get the final uh, set of cards I'm using the light seers to row um, to gauge any other uh, advice or uh, information they want to give regarding the situation okay okay oh I love it this is so you know you just cannot write this they literally are giving me the same message um, and you know I let jumpers come out of the pack so there's no cars lined up or anything like that I just love the way that they indicate uh, so precisely through the messages okay how would you like to receive these okay they want to receive them this way so we have okay I understand oh yeah thank you so we have the eight of cups so as I said right at the before um, right at the beginning here there's something that uh, was some sort of disappointment um, you're walking away from it okay when you get that eight of cups it's a withdrawal from um, moving on from something that you felt um, did not embrace you in, abandoned you in some way um, now this could be to do with love because uh, eight of cups is uh, cups are about love emotion but it could be in terms of um, a career path that you felt was not suited to your emotional growth and to your higher spiritual path um, and you're walking away from it so whatever does not serve you you're walking away towards the Sun okay so wonderful indication there you're making a solid decision you're, you're going after your happiness in hell or high water nobody's gonna get in your way but as you can see with this eight of cups there's no obstacles in the way there okay they're only indicating a resistance and the resistance hangman energy again hangman clarified by the hangman in reverse 
Um, just so you know, when you, you've got this uh, position, uh, the antagonist position is like the hangman has been reversed, okay? It's the reversal of the particular card because you have a resistance to it. And it's this resistance to getting a new perspective or some sort of wisdom, okay? So you're putting off in procrastination uh, and feeling just a little bit stuck to make that first move. Um, you may feel... Okay, this is an interesting energy. It's for somebody in particular. You may feel where you're at in your life right now, a lot of people demand a lot of your time, Aries, and you may feel it is a selfish act to take some time out for yourself to do some studying. That is not a selfish act. That is a self-care act. Sorry, I'm just readjusting myself. Um, so if you feel like you haven't got the time, because a lot of people are indicating they need you for something, um, and you're feeling a bit claustrophobic with people asking things of you, you need to sort of take some time for yourself and, and communicate. Okay, this is Pisces energy, okay? So you may feel emotionally like you cannot um, step away from these people uh, and their wants, their needs. Um, but you need to, even if it's a small amount of time, even if it's a baby step, they're indicating take the first step, okay? And then that will overcome the energy and you will actually um, be on the right path and closer to success and uh, abundance than you can ever imagine. Now, we do have the Five of Swords. So they're indicating here self, some sort of self-sabotage, okay? Um, the overriding energy uh, with this, uh, as you can see, the White Witch Tarot, the black and gold deck, um, this is the overall energy, okay? The details are you have to overcome the uh, telling yourself negative things, okay? Self-sabotage, um, being abusive to yourself in your mind. As you can see, this, uh, uh, this crow on this figure's shoulder, giving negative talk, trash-talking yourself. Um, the strength card is the overriding energy, which is you believing in yourself and not having any of that trash talk. Um, they want to re uh, read them together. The Nine of Swords is releasing all of that, okay? Uh, this is about having faith. Don't be trash talking yourself. Don't be defensive. Um, once, okay, uh, they're also just indicating once isolation ends, so you may have felt completely stuck in a rut, then there is going to be a period of new hope. There's a, a lot of new hope here. Um, it's like rest and recovery um, from something that kept you up at night, okay? So this may have been worrying you, this situation. Um, which, which is the right path to take? Where should I go? Your intuition will lead you the right way, but also justice is on the board. What is right for you will never pass you by. Um, it is a win-win situation. It is here to level the playing field so that you can reach up for your success and happiness. Uh, don't be negative talking to yourself. Um, easier said than done. We all do it, you know, but they really want you to look at the words because swords are about words, how we talk to ourselves. So for example, if we drop a cup on the floor and we go, oh my gosh, I'm so effing stupid. I'm such an idiot. You know, you're actually telling yourself you're stupid and you're an idiot. We're all human. We all make mistakes. But those little moments of telling ourselves, we actually chip away at our own self-worth, our own self-confidence. If, if someone turned around, if you dropped a cup and someone else turned around to you and said, you're so effing stupid, what an idiot. You'd be like, excuse me, don't you dare talk to me like that. How dare you? It was an accident and we all make mistakes. So they're as asking you here, why should you talk to yourself like that? It's a very important lesson to learn. Now, we all do it. We all slip into it. But a couple of years ago, um, I got this message myself from Spirit. And uh, it really has changed the way I feel about working day to day and who I am and my, in, you know, my boundaries. So it was a real game changer. And they're obviously coming on in to give this message to, uh, to um because they want you to have this success because you're rising up very exciting energy okay we're going to leave it there um i'm going to give you a final uh, work your light advice from spirit thank you so much spirit guys going angels can you please guide my gorgeous aries what else do they need to know before we close the reading can you please guide them for their higher thank you so much lemuria creating heaven on earth it's happening 
okay so whatever your dream goal is it is happening okay very exciting i mean i love it when spirit does this because as i said you know uh, they really indicate oh i think it was too much they just said concentrate well like my, my wrist kind of kicked out there um i just want to check and make sure yeah they just said not for you um so sorry about that sometimes my wrist kicks out um but they also just said concentrate so one moment i'm going to be a bit silent thank you so much i'm truly grateful um yeah i get told off sometimes um but we have peace and it's in reverse okay so you're there's something that you're stressing about um and they want you to let go of something once you do that then all else will fall into place okay i understand uh, also i'm just going to show you in the upright um they're, they're indicating there's an egg here, okay? Also some sort of healing. So there is a new opportunity, something that is very, it's like hatching a plan, okay? Um, also some sort of star energy, which is about hope, faith. Faith that this will work out, miracles. Um, also it is number 23. So when you reduce number 23, two plus three is five. That's the number of obstacles and change. So. Because you got it in the reverse here, uh, also there's lots of hearts around it. So whatever you're trying to hatch this plan or this new path, you, you're you following your heart, okay? There's a lot of love surrounding it. But we got it in the reverse. So you're a little bit nervous perhaps to start. Um, your peace has been compromised because it seems like such a big thing to start. And uh, the obstacles that over you have to overcome is this uh, energy of something needs to change here and they're indicating for me it's uh, some sort of knowledge that has to be gained would be that wisdom again they're showing me this course that has a time limit um, so um, it may be nerve-wracking but they, they want you to proceed is the energy that they're giving me here now I'm going to read from the book because I, I don't want to tell you anything wrong um, uh, we have Lemuria so uh, these uh, do not have a number so I'm just gonna have to go find it interesting it's an, looks like it's a, a an activation card no it's a transmission card I love it okay so we have here um, look at those beautiful um, they're just indicating for me right now Iceland Okay, Iceland, and some sort of, um, before I read, uh, they're just giving me an image of Iceland and some sort of glaciers. I know they are glaciers, but uh, in particular, they give me Iceland. So maybe you've got a trip to Iceland. It's very precise. Uh, um, or, uh, you know, you're that's a place that you feel infinity with. Um, something to do with Iceland, perhaps you're from Iceland. Um, they're indicating Iceland, and it's a very magical land. Now, I've been to Iceland, so yeah, it is a very magical land. Um, but maybe... Okay, if, if you can take Iceland, uh, then there's something in this message for you. Um, so, we've got Lemuria. Is Mu, Lemuria, or Mu, is one of the Earth's lost lands, where heaven really was a place on Earth. A time before we were kicked out of the Garden of Eden. In Lemuria, life worked in harmony. All beings were seen as equal, and we were deeply reverent to Mother Earth. We knew that a mosquito was no worse than us, and the sun no better. Perhaps you too believe that heaven really can be a place on Earth. Perhaps you are part of this transition team who, at a soul level, are, devo are devoted to creating this kind of harmony on the planet now. Thank you for wanting to do this work. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the state of affairs on the planet right now, but you're being encouraged to keep holding the clear vision of the future. It is closer than you think. You may be guided to hold the frequency of Lemuria in your own community, family, workplace, or within yourself. Know that it is possible, and while at times it may feel like you're alone, you truly are not. There are hundreds of thousands who hold the codes of this ancient lost land and even Lemuria crystals that hold the codes of remembering that are beginning to rise all over the planet. Keep doing what you're doing and remember, the only way to heal the world around us is to first start with healing ourselves. 
work your light transmission. So light workers, this is your call to creating a better future for everybody, for the world. So perhaps that's something that you uh, are here to do through your work. There is a, a transmutation through your work that serves your community, you know, your soul tribe. As I said, it's not just about you. It's about a celebration for all here. Uh, so they're just clarifying um, the reading here about um, it is closer than you think, this wonderful happiness. Um, incredible. So we've just got to look up peace. You get the... Um, it's number 23 and you get the protection message for it 23 protection message is now is a time for calmness and well-being in spite of temporary conditions even if there are dissonant notes in the music of your life all that means is that you must go within and fine-tune the extraordinary instrument that you are find harmony within yourself and don't look to the outer world to provide certainty this too shall pass, and once again your life will be filled with beautiful music. Okay, so a real indicator that you may have felt, you know, you're uncomfortable. It's this growing pains kind of energy, um, feeling stuck and uncomfortable, and this little shoot then pops up. This is the energy to overcome, whatever knowledge it is that you need. Um, it will bring you peace, but it is time to be calm, and just know that what is right for you will never pass you by. It is coming towards you. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please fly my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know? Ha! I love it. We have grapes. Very, very fruitful. This is going to be so fruitful and lead to a lot of growth. Okay? And also celebration. They're just showing me a, a glass of wine. Now, I don't like wine, but for those of the, the, you that do, um, oh, uh, there's a, <laughs> if you have too much, you might fall down like that. But anyway, um, yeah, this is going to be a very fruitful situation. A lot of growth here, a lot of success. And they're also indicating luxury here. They're showing me, wow, this is quite precise. So this may actually be a painting that you, uh, you have at home or something. It, uh, it's like someone reclining on a couch and being fed grapes. It's like this Elysium of the gods. Greek, it's like a Greek scenario they're giving me, which is um, someone lying back and being fed grapes. I mean, if that's you at this present time, you've got it all going on. If, you, if, you, if you're there and your partner's just feeding you grapes on the couch, I don't know. But uh, there's something here about luxury, okay? So whatever you're rising up towards to create, there's very fruitful and will give you a life of luxury is what they're giving me here. What would you, where would you like this? They want it on the judgment card straight away. Very, very exciting time for you, Aries. We'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aries. Um, I'm truly grateful for you spending time with me. I hope something resonated here. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message and lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me. Okay, my gorgeous Aries. Thank you so much. Love and light.